North Dakota and Manitoba share the fifth most active border crossing that exists between Canada and the United States. Manitoba's neighbors to the south are sharing their vaccines with Manitoban truck drivers, hoping to get the flow of goods across the border and strengthen the bonds of friendship. Before there were borders here, long before there were borders here, there were people here, people who cooperated in challenging times, and we are in such challenging times now as we all know. Today's announcement is indicative of the friendly relationship between Manitoba and North Dakota. Tuesday, the province announced the Essential Worker Cross-Border Vaccination Initiative, the first program of its kind between a Canadian province and a U.S. state. And uh, North Dakota, is, uh, remarkably, we've administered over 500,000 doses in a state where our total population is less than uh, just the Winnipeg metro area, 762,000 people in the state of North Dakota. Beginning tomorrow, the state of North Dakota will provide COVID-19 vaccines to fully immunized Manitoba-based truck drivers during their uh, routine trips to the United States and over the next six to eight weeks conclude with the second vaccine and they will be doing that thanks to the government of the United States of America free of charge. Premier Pallister says about 4,000 truckers will be vaccinated through this program. This is a, a creative solution, uh, one that is as I understand, unprecedented across North America. Not only does it serve, um, you know, those in the trucking industry, not only does it protect uh, the Manitoban and quite frankly, the North American supply chain, but what it also does is it benefits those Manitobans at home who are, you know, stuck in Manitoba by virtue of, you know, public health policy, stay home and stay safe. They now get to access their, their vaccination shots that much sooner. The Premier hopes the pilot program can work for others essential workers in the future and will eventually lead to a safe reopening of the border. Truck drivers have been some of the few essential workers who have been allowed through the border during the pandemic. If we can take advantage of the fact that these truck drivers find themselves working to or through North Dakota because of the essential service work they're doing as truck drivers, if they can get vaccinated while they're down south working, um, not only is it more efficient for them, it just gets them vaccinated that much sooner. Governor Burgum says full staff will be ready to vaccinate drivers at the Alexander Henry rest stop on I-29 tomorrow. In Winnipeg, Marie Gomez, City News.